June 19, 2012, the day convicted felon Charles Wallace, a man who had no right to have a gun, nearly shot and killed two Spokane County Sheriff's deputies. Wallace fired 10 shots in 10 seconds, leaving Deputy Matt Spink and Deputy Mike Northway on the verge of death. It was an attack so rare the last time occurred nearly three decades earlier. I'm hit. I, I, it's a hot poker in my leg. I know I'm hit. The gun Wallace used in the shooting, a Glock 22 handgun like this, was stolen. The Glock was stolen from a rental car outside of a home in this neighborhood in Liberty Lake. And the owner of that gun turned out to be a trooper from Utah. He was here visiting his family. He'd left the gun in his car. I spoke with Utah Highway Patrol Sergeant Robert Nixon over the phone. What was that moment like realizing that your duty weapon had been taken? Oh, I was sick. I was sick to my stomach about it. Sergeant Nixon says he locked his weapon in the car for safekeeping. Between the two families, we had six children in the house. I didn't want to have a gun in the house. No one knows who stole the gun from Sergeant Nixon's car, and how it ended up in Wallace's hands is a mystery. But nine months after that theft, Wallace used Trooper Nixon's gun to try and kill two deputies. In my head, I, one of my worst fears was another officer to get shot with that gun. And so obviously my worst fear came true. To find out that it was used against one of our own, it's, it's undescribable. For Spokane Police Officer Jennifer Daru, the trail of the gun is less worrisome than the fact that they're ending up in the hands of convicted felons. A troubling trend, she says, is on the rise. Through my experience and my tenure as a police officer, more and more guns are out on the streets. More and more bad guys have guns. More often than not, they're, they're armed illegally. Through a public records request, KHQ found Spokane PD recovered more than 800 guns used in crimes since 2010. Well, if you flip through these pages, and there are a lot of them, you see the same things over and over and over again. For instance, you see unlawful possession of a firearm, unlawful possession of a firearm, unlawful possession of a firearm. In other words, criminals who had guns who should not have had them. It does serve as a reminder to our community that guns are out there, and they're in Spokane, and we can't look the other way. And they aren't. After a stolen gun in a felon's hands led to a violent crime, police are adamant they're looking at every way to ensure firearms don't fall into their wrong hands.